welcome to the show, my name is Alex and this is TechFlow, unless this has appeared on a channel and it's been copywritten from our main channel as to which you should probably report the video, but yeah, welcome back. <laughs> actually sent me out to Mobile World Congress where I had the pleasure of looking at the Huawei or Huawei P10, also the, the LG G6 and as well the phone that I haven't covered yet on the channel which is actually coming out on the, I think the second, which is why this video has been delayed. Hopefully this phone is out by the time this video is out. I think it's the second of June it comes out. The Sony XZ Premium. So Sony actually invited me abroad to a little private event where I got to mess about with the camera, hence why I wanted to delay this video until I had a little bit more hands-on time with the phone, because unfortunately my demo unit at CES, Sony said the software wasn't working properly and therefore the phone didn't even turn on, so I couldn't see this 4K screen or test out the camera. Now I've done that, here's my thoughts, let's get into it. So as you can see, the phone is absolutely gorgeous. Inside we've got the Andreo 540 GPU and four gigs of RAM, and there's a very, very good reason for that. Let's get into the main point of why I like this phone so much. I'm jumping straight here to the camera, but first, what's on the outside of the phone? So obviously my main thing being the camera, the first thing that you see, or I saw, was the fact that you have a dedicated camera shutter button. Great for photographers who are on the go. On the bottom of the phone we've got USB-C, which in a phone in 2017 is pretty much a must. We've also got a headphone jack, woohoo! And the usual SIM card slot, as well as this doubling up as a SD card slot, so you can put some expandable storage in, and there may be a good reason for you to do that, judging on these camera specs. You're gonna be taking some sick shots with this thing. So finally, the thing that I wanna talk about and why I love this phone so much, well there's two points. First one, is the camera, right? On the back we've got a 90 megapixel shooter, the sensor is stabilised and we're shooting 2160p video at 30fps straight from this phone. Really, really cool, really cool. I love it, I love cameras, I'm a nerd for cameras. This phone is the phone to get if you love photography. Sony have always been known, especially in the last two years, for bringing out some amazing cameras, especially the A7S and A7R series, and they'll be porting some of their knowledge over to the phones, and I love that. Even the front camera has image stabilization, so if you're in selfie mode, all your selfies are gonna be stabilized, which is awesome. Front camera also is full HD at 1080p for video. Now, what's the point in taking all of these awesome photos and awesome video if you don't have a screen to enjoy it on. Well luckily, Sony have pulled through. On this phone, we've got a 4K screen, right? And if that doesn't sound mental enough, coming in at 807 ppi, it's also HDR10 compliant. Yeah, this is amazing. Sony also talks about what they call the screen and it has a, a, a super vivid mode. I'm not 100% sure, I like the fact that you can enhance and change colours. I like raw things as much as, you know, photography is concerned, but the fact that, you know, you can click on a super vivid mode and everything on the phone turns super vivid, a lot of people may like that. And I'm happy that, you know, you have the control to toggle it on or off. If I was to get one, I'd leave super vivid mode off. I like to see what comes out of the camera and edit it myself. Okay, so here's the first problem. We're running into the first problem here in my brain. I'm thinking at this, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking 807 PPI screen, I'm thinking 4K, I'm thinking stabilised camera, Battery life. Hmm. Inside the phone, we've got a 3,230 milliamp hour battery, and they said on stage, and this stuck in my mind, there's a stamina mode. Brilliant, yeah, most phones have a stamina mode or a battery saver, but they said that you have to enable this feature to get a full day of battery life. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> In 2017, I shouldn't have to be enabling modes just to get at least a full day of battery life out of my phone. Now, I realise and totally understand that the features of this phone are far superior to that of pretty much any other phone as far as this, this amazing screen goes and the camera, which there's another feature I need to talk about. But still, having to enable the mode to get a full day of battery life? Sony, come on, man. So what else is new with the camera? Well, I saved the best to last, didn't I? 900. And 60, 960 frames per second in slow-mo. 
Now I actually got some time to mess about with this feature after the actual MWC when Sony jetted me off to another country and I got to video some awesome stuff. Unfortunately I couldn't get the footage off the phones but it was just incredible to be shooting at 960 FPS from a phone that fits in your pocket. This is an iPhone 7 Plus and this can only do 240. I say only, 240 is amazing, 960. It's a different ball game. It's insane. The fact that you can whip out your phone at any point in the day and record anything happening in 960 FPS, I don't think anybody can really see how awesome that is until they use it themselves and just like go like that with the hair and video it in 960 or just pour a cup of coffee and video it in 960. You'll see things that you literally didn't even know existed. It's incredible. When I had a go with it in this country when they sent me out, it was just amazing. And I say that and I mean it. So that's it, I really liked the phone. Other than the stamina mode, which has sort of ticked me off a little bit, the screen is amazing and I'm a camera nerd. The camera is amazing, 960 FPS. 2160p recording at 30 FPS, 4K screen to view everything back. Oh, sorry, I forgot. One gigabit a second LTE. Yeah, a gigabit a second LTE, the first phone in the UK with one gig a second LTE. Now, he gave me this video. This is obviously done in a lab, you know, controlled environment. But as you can see, the phone is reaching one gigabit a second, which is absolutely phenomenal. Whether you're gonna get this in real world speeds, I'm not 100% sure, but it, it has been demonstrated and does work in the lab, and EE will be the only network in the UK to offer this speed. And I know EE sent me out to MWC, but that is a legitimate thing. EE are the only company, uh, mobile provider in the UK that are gonna be offering those speeds on the release date, which I think is on the 2nd. So by the time you're seeing this, a couple of days time. So there you go guys, that's what stood out to me about the Sony XZ Premium. Everything about the phone was awesome, it felt nice, it felt premium. Just a shame about the battery life though. I'll have to get one in the office to test out to give you guys a full review. So hopefully I can do that in the near future, but I can't wait for it. My name's been Alex, this has been Techflight. We'll catch you in 960 FPS. Yeah. <laughs>